Regression is a fundamental problem in machine learning and one that occurs in a variety of different applications. The uh, starting point in a regression problem is that we are given a set of training inputs uh, xn and the label they have is going to be a continuous value. So this is in opposition to what we had before in the um, classification problems where the label was a value from a discrete set of values. Um, in this case, we have our uh, uh, labels coming from a continuous function, uh, from a continuous domain. So the goal in a, in a regression um, problem is to learn a function with real values. So what you have is a set of data points x, just like before, and a set of labels, just like before, um, and you have a a number of such uh, data points but the, the 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 fundamental difference is that the labels are going to be real values and the data points um, let's say that they have uh, d dimensions so they are coming from uh, r to power d but this is where the fundamental difference is with respect to classification problems and so the goal in a regression problem is going to be to learn a function uh, g defined on r to power d so that's exactly the space where our samples are coming with values in r such that the empirical error and I define this in a moment what empirical error means so the empirical error of g on the data set x is minimal and the empirical error um, of this uh, function g given the data set x is simply something like this you are going to evaluate on all the data points and you are, so I, I show in a moment what I'm evaluating but I'm, I'm just anticipating that I'm going to take the average of the error this function is making on each data point and on a data point, the error is going to be some sort of a loss function. And, and again, I, I come back to this in a moment. It's, it's going to be some sort of a loss function measuring the distance between the real label of that data point and the prediction of my function on that data point. So some sort of loss function between the real label and the prediction on that data point. So choosing the loss function can be done in a number of ways. Um, two of the most popular ones are the uh, sum of squares. So um, uh, in, in this case, the empirical error um, is, is something like this is one over n sum from, from one to n by, and here you take the difference rt minus g of xt and you take that squared and another another possibility is that you take the sum of absolute values and so in this case the empirical error would be um, uh, e of g and x would be 1 over n um, sum from 1 to n by the absolute value of the difference between rt and g of xt and by far the sum of squares is the most popular loss function that people choose in practice um, and that there are good reasons for this uh, one of them being that um, in many cases for example if you do polynomial regression you can in fact um, calculate the uh, analytical solution to the machine learning problem because this function is um, easily differentiable uh, everywhere so you can differentiate with respect to your parameters and find out the um, uh, value of the parameters, minimizing the empirical error. Um, so here is a, an example on um, how regression uh, could be thought of. If I take uh, one of our uh, early examples where we were thinking about um, cars and we were thinking about uh, this problem where um, you know, the price of a car is a function of uh, mileage 
and and we are ignoring all the other um, um, all the other features we, we just uh, consider price against mileage and let's say that we have a number of data points something like this so uh, with with very small mileage uh, you know you have a high price and um, and then you have um, maybe also examples like uh, like this and maybe some examples like this and and, and so on and um, you can go about um, you know f doing regression in a number of ways uh, so choosing the function g um, in in a number of ways so one way of doing this so you can choose for your function um, a linear function and in that case you you say that you do a linear regression and and so uh, what this would be um, this would be a, um, a function g that depends on x so x being uh, the mileage so uh, depends on x uh, uh, through a linear function so something like w1 x plus w0 and so um, you can calculate in fact the analytic solution to find out which values of w1 and w0 give you the uh, minimal empirical error for these data points and, and for example it could be uh, you know uh, this linear function something that goes uh, like this um, so it, it's trying to capture the um, the trend in the data another possibility is that you would say well let me take a slightly more complex uh, example or, or, or slightly more complex um, hypothesis and I'm going to do quadratic regression um, meaning that I'm going to choose a function g of x which is quadra quadratic in x so that's going to be a function of of this type w2 x squared plus w1 x plus w0 and the question is going to be what are the values of w2 w1 and w0 which uh, minimize the empirical error for this function and you can again calculate this analytically and you might find out that the shape that you get for this data set uh, maybe it's something like like this and still another way of going about this is that you would say well i i can maybe uh, try to do even better and uh, go about uh, uh, really attempting to go through every single point in here so this would be a uh, certainly a high degree polynomial and, and i will put in a moment what what kind of degree uh, you would need um, your point so you would do a regression with a high degree polynomial and your point is going to be that you really don't miss any data point so maybe you you would aim for something like uh, like like this and um, you because in in this example i'm i'm choosing i have uh, uh, seven points so it would be enough to choose a 6 uh, degree polynomial and such a polynomial would would have the form uh, w6 x to the power 6 and uh, all the other powers of x plus w1 x plus w0 and the shape would look um, very much like this one and one of the problems you you have to face uh, in regression as you have to face in in any other approach to machine learning is which model to choose uh, out of these uh, um, out, out of these uh, examples so um, uh, when should you go for a, a more complex model and, and when should you maybe uh, you know sit uh, and uh, accept uh, errors with a, a simpler uh, model